guys, this is Makeup by Rachel O. And today I'm showing you how to do a natural but glamorous look, including an eyelash application. I hope you guys enjoy and thank you for watching. To fill in your brows. I'm not sure what brand of concealer is. I will list all of the exact colors and everything on my blog. It's MakeupByRachelO.com. And you just want to make sure you blend the color. This is a flat synthetic brush. Just going back in and blending it again. Now this um, eyeshadow palette is found on my site. This is like a nude vanilla shade that I'm using with an eyeshadow brush and I'm just toning the concealer down so that it doesn't look as white This is a gold shade. It's also found in the same palette. And it's a really beautiful color, especially on African American skin. Anytime you put a gold on, it really just gives your eyes a nice highlight and really hope, helps to open up the eye area. You could also use this to highlight other areas of your face like um, if you want to do a highlight on your nose or on your cheekbone or even on your brow bone I'm just using it on the brow, uh, the lid this particular time but it's a really beautiful color and you just want to make sure that you blend it so that it doesn't stand out you want to join the colors together with your brush so that's what I'm doing This is just a black eyeliner. Just go over your lash line with the liner. This eyeshadow is called Almond. It's by Iman Cosmetics and I'm just using a flat synthetic brush and I'm using the almond because I felt like the the base was still too white so this is going to tone it down this is a concealer and um, foundation palette what I'm doing now is I'm highlighting the areas that I want to stand out it's going to look a little crazy when I'm done but I'm going to go back in and blend everything And I'm just using a flat synthetic brush, but you can use a foundation brush, you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers. You have lots of options to do the highlighting. Now I'm just going down the center of my nose here with the same brush, just really lightly. This is going to sharpen my features. bringing forth the chin. Anytime you put a lighter color that's going to bring the area forth and a darker color is going to push the area back. So this is the um, just going to highlight. Now I felt that this was kind of ashy looking so what I'm doing is I'm warming this color up by using a MAC foundation stick. I believe this is like NC43 or NC45. I'm not sure. But just by putting that color on top of it, you'll see that it makes it a little bit closer to my skin tone, but not the exact same color, which is what I'm going for. So it's going to warm it up and make it more of a brownish tan shade. So 
So don't be afraid to mix and match your colors. You can definitely do that. Now this is a pressed powder. This is going to set the makeup, make sure that it stays on. Anytime you put a cream on, you should put a powder on top of it. That's going to set your makeup, make it very long wearing. Now I'm going to go in and do the contour. This shade is about two or three shades darker than my complexion. I believe it's uh, NC60. This is my favorite brush to use. You can sculpt and shade with it. It's a great brush. I'm just, um, as you can see, going down the nose area to help bring forward the lighter areas that um, I've already done. Now I know it looks a little crazy, but I am I am uh, contouring the area. You can see that just by putting a darker shade there really makes the lighter area of my face stand out. And that's what I'm trying to do. Slim the cheek, slim the cheek area down. Slim some of the baby fat down and bring forth the cheekbone area. Now I'm just going up into the temple with the same brush, going around the chin area with the same brush and very important after all of this I'm going to go in and blend 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 is your friend blend the makeup this is how you achieve a natural but glamour look glamorous look by blending everything all the colors joining all the colors together And I probably even did some more blending off camera that you guys didn't see. Uh, so blending is very important. Now this is just a pinky blush. This blush is in the palette also. It just creates a nice, like a sun-kissed glow to your cheeks. Going back in with the same black eyeliner just on the bottom outer corner of the eye. Now this is um eyelashes. I believe these are MAC number 36, but you can use whatever brand you prefer. I'm having a little trouble putting them on here, but I'll get it together I'm using a tweezer. And then you can see that I have the difference it makes just from the left to right. There's an eyelash on one side and an eyelash off. Now they're both on. You can see what a difference it makes. The shadow is popping out. The eyes are popping out more. So lashes are fun to use. They give you a more glamorous look. This is by Benefit. I'm not sure what the shade is. Again, I put all the exact colors in my blog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. My blog is makeupbyracho.com. Don't forget to vote for me in the Black Opal True Beauty Contest. I'm going to put the link in the box here. Thanks. Take care.